Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. For years, I've been frustrated when someone asks me to sign a document and they email this document to me, because then I have to take that document, uh, print it out, and sign it, scan it back in, and email it back. And that's just, it's a kludge, honestly. I've been very happy to have the signature integration on uh, Mac OS X Lion, the latest operating system uh, from Apple, of all things, because I don't think anybody else produces Lion. So uh, in the preview app on uh, Lion, uh, you can include a signature, and it's easy to stamp the tool, uh, stamp the tool, <laughs> stamp your signature in using the tool, and that way I can just take a document, open it up in preview, and never have to worry about printing it out and still get everything done, including you know adding a date, any other kind of text fields, uh, and then the signature. And for all intents and purposes, when I send it back to them as a PDF, it's just like sending a fax. But there are certain ways to have your electronic signature accepted outright. Uh, one of those ways is by using DocuSign. And if you ever needed to sign a document electronically and you want it to be legally binding, uh, DocuSign may be the route you want to take. And there is a new app for you as a consumer called DocuSign Inc. Uh, and you can start using it right now. Uh, and with it, uh, you could use something like your iPhone to uh, stamp in your signature and have it accepted as a legally binding signature. You could also email your documents into an alias in case you didn't uh, have them on the device itself for you to sign. So you can be on the go and sign a document. The alternative to this, uh, I've used a few apps that allow me to sign my name, you know, just using my finger. But then inevitably, if you've ever tried to sign anything with your finger, it never looks the same as what it would look like if it was, you know, you writing with a pen or some other kind of blunt instrument. You could use a sharp instrument, I suppose. Um, but this is the future. You know, your signature is going to be out there and you got to protect it, right? You want everything to be safe and secure. DocuSign may be the way you're going to go. I mean, I don't know. It, maybe it's just me, but, uh, you know, even if I type my name, and there have been cases where uh, after agreeing to something and just typing in my name, and many times even on uh, YouTube, if I need to sign an agreement, they'll say, check this box, and it makes it legally binding. This acts, even if you're typing it in, this acts as though it was your signature. And I'm fine with that. Honestly, I am just fine with it. I have no problem at all with doing that. Some people do, and that's fine. You can stick to printing things out and scanning things back in, and <laughs> what a mess. I, and I, I tell you the truth, you know, I, without my smartphone, I don't know what I would do. I use that smartphone for everything, except for calling people, really. It's my mobile scanner, and it's you know a way that I can collaborate on documents without being in front of a traditional computer. So as Evangelist Soldier notes, this seems dangerous. It's not as dangerous as you think. Anybody could fake your signature, dude. Anybody. They could do that now. That won't be difficult to do. Even if it didn't look like your signature, they could say they're you. There's no easy way to prove that you are who you say you are today. At some point in the future, uh, that, may, that may change. So this is just another option for you if you are on the go and you need to sign documents at a moment's notice. Uh, this may be the way you'd want to do it in a legally binding, clean and secure capacity. Check out the article link. You can read, oh, actually, you know what I need to do before I forget? I've got the article pulled up here on LockerGnome.com. I'm going to plus one it, like it on Facebook, and make sure it gets tweeted out to my followers. You might do the same thing if you think it's interesting.